<laughs> hey everyone, yours truly, Chris Levi13. And in four years of this channel and everything that I do on social media, I haven't really been the one to sing the song that other people are singing. I always sing to my own tune. I do my own thing and know whether people like it or they dislike it, you know? I'm kind of like my own person, you know? My own thing out there, you know? And that makes me, I guess, unique, ordinary, original. But I feel like this time I wanted to jump on the bandwagon that people all across say, social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, even on Instagram, and most importantly, right here on YouTube, are talking about. I've seen bigger YouTubers like Andre the Black Comedy Nerd, Boogie2988, The No, uh, The Kind of Funny Guys, and several others, Dashy Games, and several others talk about it. And it is what's big in the gaming community right now. What's everybody talking about? What's the buzz? That I know people have already done videos on it about a day or two ago. It's already had all these trailers out there. People do these fancy videos. Oh, here's a picture of it in my, in my little talk about it, you know. And I don't have all the details about it. But from what I saw in the little video, what I'm talking about is Nintendo. The Nintendo Switch, where they went from... Being, oh, we're going to bring you the Nintendo NX next uh, March 2017. And then a couple days ago, they say, nope, it's not called the Nintendo next NX, which could have been next, you know. It is now called the Nintendo Switch, where you get, get, get two Wii-like controllers. You get to put it on, on the side of our tablet. Our own version of a tablet device where you can put cartridges in the back of it and you can walk around and go anywhere and play it. But then, when you're when you're not out on an airplane or you're not here or you're not in your car or you're not this or either, but you're at home and you want to play it, but you don't want to play it on your tablet, you want to play it on your big, flat, HD, 4K TV, whatever TV you have. Well, you know what? You can set it in this little docking bay that will that obviously will probably charge your device up. But then, you can... Either take those controllers off the side of it and use those. Kind of like you use Wii controllers, I guess. And, or you can sit there and you can get use the Pro Controller, as, as I've heard people say. And have a controller that looks kind of like an Xbox One controller. But it's totally black and it says Nintendo Switch on it. And you saw... And that looks really cool because to be able to have a device that, hey, can do HD games on a tablet and you can play it anywhere you can walk around and play it but then if you want to sit down and you want to play it on the big TV you can do that which I think is cool it's awesome but I just gotta put this out there will the tablet the tablet structure the device itself self be more powerful than any tablet that we already have out there whether it be made by Samsung Apple any any company, you know, will that tablet right there itself, even if you put the game cartridges in it and play games, whatever, you know, whether it be disc, whatever card cartridge you put in there, you play, you ain't get the games off of, or even if you download games to it, will that device itself be graphically stronger than what we already have out there in tablet as devices? Because if it is, cool, great, grand, but if it isn't, then does the power to make it that way come from the stand that it is, is in. Because that that's where the power comes from, then okay, then maybe when you take it like this, when you go out, you drop off, off. Or you gotta be in, or is it something where you gotta be in the range of that, that thing to help it keep a strong signal? I don't know. But I mean, from the from the little trailer that, that, that Nintendo put out there talking about the Switch, the, it looked graphically cool. I liked, liked how it had third-party games with Skyrim, uh, enhanced Edition Remastered, basically. But, I don't know if it's actually going to be on there, because Bethesda is kind of like, we didn't confirm it. But hey, it might be on there. You saw an NBA, NBA 2K on there, which would be cool. You know, have third-party games on there. Because I love Nintendo, but Nintendo's always been about their games being the featured games, and then third-party games being kind of there. But hey, if Nintendo can jump into the market that... Xbox and PlayStation is doing and have their own little thing because PlayStation they got their VR, you know, and I'm cool with PlayStation being the being the do it being the first console at your home home 
doing VR because you're not the Oculus. You don't have to have the the the, the, the Vive, the Oculus. You can have a PlayStation. You can still have your actual PlayStation and you can get the VR, or you can buy the play, new PlayStation Pro with the VR. And I like how Xbox is 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 connected with Windows 10 to where you to where. Let me rephrase that. I like how how PlayStation, Sony, PlayStation, the company that owns it, Sony, has VR with their new newer PlayStations. Or you can possibly, I don't know if you can't can. I might be a dumbass with your older PlayStation 4s. But I like how they're going in. They're they're being the first home console system to step out into VR, so that you don't have to go and have an Oculus. You don't have to have a Vive. You can have a PlayStation VR. And I like how. Xbox is since Microsoft owns Windows 10 and they own Xbox, they're combining the two by saying, "Hey, you got a game on Xbox, yeah, and you go on a trip and you can bring your controller with you and you have you know that, but you still want to play your games and you have your computer that's capable of playing your Halo, your Gears of War 4. Well, you know what? I went on a trip, trip to trip to trip to DC." DC to do some business, and I still want to play Gears of War 4 while I'm in my hotel room overnight. But I don't want to lug around my Xbox One. So they allow allow you to be able to, if you have the capability through the Xbox One app on your your laptop, if your laptop can handle it, or your PC or whatever your device you're using, they allow you to say, hey, you can play Gears of War 4 here at the same spot that you stopped at it on your Xbox, and you can go back and do this. You know, when you get back home on your Xbox. Which I think is cool. Now with Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch. I know I got off topic like like most people are just talking about Nintendo. But I wanted to reference that. Hey, I don't do a lot of videos like this. But I wanted to say, hey, where am I a fan of? Now I like how Nintendo is trying to say, hey, we're not going to go into VR. We're not going to go into streaming on, on, a PC, on a PC laptop, whatever. Because that's Xbox's thing. They're thinking, well, you know what? There's tablets out there. Why don't we make... A tablet that's graphically can give you that same image you see on your TV through, through the output of your of your console, but be able to put in that tablet so that you can travel and go everywhere, but also be able to do like that. And then with your two Wii Lite controllers, because that's what they look like to I me, mean, they look like Wii controllers, the, 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 you know, you can sit there and hand one to somebody like that and you can turn it sideways like, like you did the Wii controllers, and you can do multiplayer. And if you have two devices, you can put up to four. Now, obviously, if they have an online line thing when you go on home and you put it in that dock, you can play play a whole bunch of other people, you know. I think it's really cool, you know. I know I'm here for about almost eight minutes, but yeah, I want to say Nintendo Switch. I might, if I have the money when it comes out, whether it be three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, I don't know, somewhere between between three hundred and five hundred dollars. Nintendo Switch when it comes out, and whatever games drop with it, which hopefully will be that Zelda game, I might pocket the money and buy it, but. Then again, I might buy some more stuff for my Xbox One. But I just want to tell you all that just like I, like all the other ones, I jumped on the bandwagon to talk about the Nintendo Switch. And I think the name could be better, but I don't know if it's alright, you know? Because they're switching the game up. They're n Sony is being the first one to go after VR. Because Xbox was the first one to tackle Hey, you can do what you what you can do on your Xbox. You can do on your PC. What you can do on your PC, you can do on your Xbox, and vice. You know, because and then now, Nintendo saying you know, because you saw all that video too. There was no kids. Then we're gonna tackle millennials, people in their late teens, twenties, thirties, and say, hey, you got a tablet? You got a tablet like device? Well, we're gonna offer you a tablet like device that be able to do games like your Xbox, like your PlayStation, but. It's a Nintendo game, so you can do your Mario, you can do this. But then, we'll also offer those third-party games. But now, how much of the third-party games? Now, my question is, before I end this video, because I'm going to make this video, try to make this video, video not too much longer. Now, I now saw a list was a whole bunch of third-party people like EA, Activision, Bethesda, Ubisoft. This uh, The list was all these names of people on it, you know? And I'm thinking, how many of those third-party games will be available on the Switch? Will it be, like, all the third-party games? If it's available on the PlayStation and Xbox, we're, we're, we're going to be in that thing and also allow it to be on the Switch? Or will it only be select few? That's what I'm thinking, you know? But in all honesty, my favorite Nintendo system of all time was the Nintendo 64 and the Nintendo GameCube. Even though I never owned either, 
from what I saw and what I played of them, they were the two favorite. I think when they made the GameCube, they should have just built on that. But hey, they they did they did something crazy when they went with with the Wii and they and it made them successful. But then when they went with the Wii U, it was good, but it didn't go where they wanted. So hey, the Switch. See where the Switch goes. Can the Switch come in there and cut? Their own line in the gaming community right next to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And can the Switch finally be something, something that Nintendo does where they don't switch it up? And what I mean don't switch it up even though the name Switch is where they had the Super Nintendo. They had the, they had the N Nintendo. They had Super Nintendo and all this NES and all this, you know. And then they went Nintendo 64 and then they went... GameCube, and they went Wii, and they went Wii U. Well, you know what? Why can't they just say, hey, say one thing? Because, like, PlayStation. PlayStation made the first PlayStation. What do they do? They just added number two to the PlayStation as the device changed a little bit and got graphically better. They went PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. One day, there will be a PlayStation 5. Xbox kind of went crazy with it, but they kept the name Xbox. It was Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. And I'm like, okay, it should have been Xbox, Xbox 2, Xbox 3. But they win Xbox One, so the next one, maybe Xbox Two, I don't know. But even though Xbox Two would actually be Xbox Four, I don't know. But can they can hey switch and then maybe five years from now it when the when when the, when the device gets better they have to switch to. The switch to where where where, where they invade even more. But I don't know. I'm gonna end this video by saying I if I if I if, if it's reasonable, I might get it, but I don't know. But then that'd be the first just time I have two gaming systems at once. But then again, if I have the time out the Switch comes out, I might go buy a PlayStation 4. I don't know. But I am a fan of this, and I just wanted to get this video out there. I don't know when it'll be up. But hey, that's my opinion on it. So I jumped on the bandwagon. So, yeah, I'm on the bandwagon of the Nintendo Switch Buzz. Yay. As always, if you like this video, what you saw in this video, give me a thumbs up. Because I appreciate it from my heart to yours. And if you want to see more content from yours truly, that's me, Chris Levi13. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't because I have content coming out each week. My, most of my content, just real quickly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to switch up my intro. Real quickly, most of my content comes out between Monday through Friday because I'm usually busy on the weekend. But sometimes I might give you a video on a weekend. You know, but I try to have Monday through Friday be where my content comes. So... If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. And lastly, but not least, you can check out Chris Levi 13 also on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. I'm going to be more active on all the social media sites because I'm in a mood to be on the Mission to 100. Which, which lastly? The Mission to 100. What's that? A mission to get by the end of the year. 100 subscribers. So, yeah. And I want to say thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.